Hi guys, in the last video, we learned about how to do commit, push, pull and fetch. In this video, we are going to learn about git branches. As I promised in the last video that we will discuss how to debug an issue with the help of source tree. But what I felt like before going to that debug thing, we need to learn about branches and how to work with branches in real time so today i'm going to cover these two questions how to work with different branches in git and how to manage these branches from source tree so let's start the first one how to work with different branches in git so to understand that we have to understand how companies work with these git branches so as a developer, when you join an organization, you will find there is you may get chance to create project from a scratch or you will be most of the time we will be the part of, you know, existing project. So let's start like how it works. So whenever project is created, that branch comes under origin. Okay then our under origin we will have a branch name is called master under master we will have different branches so here so let's talk about a uh, requirement right so you are a developer and suppose in your team you have a uh, you know three developers three developers working in your team and these three developers got three requirements so let's consider those developers name with d1 d2 and d3 so these are three developers in a team so d1 got a requirement says r1 d2 got a requirement says r2 and d3 got a requirement says r3 so if you want to understand it uh, you know in a more better way you can consider that you know there is a there is an application uh, let's say big bookstore and in that application we need to in immediate you know we need to implement three functionalities maybe how to uh, you know upload a uh, upload a book a pdf file or maybe how to download a book from the bookstore or how to share that book with others so you can consider any three requirements it's not about you know what is the requirement we are going to deal with how we are going to uh, you know work on those requirements that's the most important part here so so far we are clear we have three developers we have three requirements we are going to work for april release so this is the month for which developers are going to work so let me take another color so this is the month right april so now okay so now what would be the first task the first task would be there would there should be one branch that from where that uh, a new branch will be created and that should be considered as release branch so developers will create each developer will create their own branch so from this branch okay so as i mentioned here here we have the branch for the first developer second developer and third developer they will complete their job they will complete the coding part and they will push their code to their respective branches and then after they will merge their codes to this branch all the developers will merge their codes from respective branch to feature april branch okay once the merge process is completed before the production release one branch will be created from this feature branch and this branch will be called as release branch and finally this release branch goes to the deployment goes for deployment and that will be deployed on the uh, you know on the release date so that is the whole process of development when we work with git so we discussed about the feature branch and we discussed about the release branch there are also uh, other types of branches like you know there are hotfix branch 
there are bug fix i mean it depends like how you are going to categorize your things these are the branches we have created uh, on you know on notebook but we need to understand how we can create these branches uh, from source tree and how how we can quickly switch between different branches whenever we need okay so let's go to source tree so uh, before that let me show you as of now there is no branches created here so you can see that i am on the uh, code base of techikuma 29 and here you can see only one branch is created that is main okay so it depends like which branch you have considered as a first branch uh, most of the time people named it as master but it's okay if, if if it is renamed as main that's also fine that's not a problem now what we need to do we need to create a feature branch so let's do that so there are two ways to do that we can do this using github or we can do this using source tree since this playlist is for source tree so we will do all the things whichever possible through source tree itself okay so in the source tree you can come to this section branches so if you click here branches you can see that on which branch you are currently working if it is in bold then it's it means that you are working on this branch so to create a new branch you need to click here branch so current branch is main now you are going to create a branch from main so let's say we are going to create a branch saying april that would be a feature branch right so feature slash april okay so branch is created but this branch is still in your local it's not in on the server so if i go here and refresh this page okay so you cannot see that branch on the repository so to reflect that change here you need to push that change right feature you are going to push then click ok so now the newly created branch from your source tree is being pushed to github and now if you go to github and refresh this page you should be able to see the new branch so here is the new branch which got created now let's create another three branches for three developers but, but those three branches should be created from April as we discussed here. We discussed right the other branches developers will create from this feature branch. So let's do the same thing here. Create branch again we'll create branch here so it's saying that the current branch is this so before going to create a branch what we could do first we should switch here to this branch and we want to create a branch from here so that's why the default branch means current branch is april 2023 so i'll create it for developer 2 I don't want to ch check out new branch then again another branch no need to check out as of now okay so you can see that right all the branches are at the same level this block says that as of now all the branches have the similar code there is not a single difference we have created feature branch from master so these two are same then after from this branch we have created these three branches and so far we haven't done any change and we have not committed anything to any branch so that's why we could see here all the branches are at the same level 
that's it about this video so right now if you want to delete those branches you can do right click and delete those branches and again you have to post that if you want to post your changes to the repository i believe now you will be more comfortable in creating branches through source tree and it also helps you to understand how to work on different branches uh, you know uh, in a real time in the next video we will discuss about how to switch between two branches and work on them in a real time thanks a lot for watching this video if you like it please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much